experiment video. Today we're going to be looking at chemical reactions and we're going to perform our very own chemical reaction in order to make rice dance. A chemical reaction is a process by which one or more substances are converted into another substance. There are thousands of chemical reactions that occur every day, everywhere. For example, there's chemical reactions that occur in your body in order to convert food into usable energy for your body. The usable energy form is commonly referred to as ATP. All right, let's talk for a second about physical and chemical changes. A physical change is often reversible and is often a change in state. Some examples of physical change are when an ice cube melts. It's changing from a solid form to a liquid form. Another example being boiling of water or shredding of paper. The paper still remains paper after it's been shred, it's just in smaller pieces. A chemical change occurs when a new substance is formed. Chemical changes are often irreversible unless through another chemical reaction. An example of a chemical change is when mixing baking soda and vinegar, they combine together to form something new called carbon dioxide. Chemical reactions are also very useful in industry. For example, the production of plastic is based on chemical reactions. This is called polymer chemistry. So what happens is they use monomers, which are tiny molecules, to form polymers, which are larger molecules, in order to form plastic. Another great example of how chemical reactions are applicable to our daily lives is through chemical energy. One of the most common sources of chemical energy is the lithium battery, which powers most of our household electronics. The materials we need today for our experiment are water, white vinegar, instant white rice, baking soda, and food coloring for fun. To start the experiment, fill your glass three quarters of the way full with water. Next, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of baking soda and then stir it in until fully combined. The water should look clear when you're ready to move on. Alright, that looks great. Next, I'm going to add in some food coloring. This isn't required, but you can for a fun look. stir that in. Now I'm going to add my rice. The rice should be floating on top of the liquid. And then finally my vinegar. Be sure not to add too much or it'll overflow. But just enough to get the rice dancing. Eventually the rice will begin to dance. As bubbles of carbon dioxide adhere to the rice, the rice is brought up to the surface. Once it reaches the surface, the gas is released and the rice falls back down again. 